Brandon, the familiarity between these two teams was on full display from the opening puck drop. The Spirit had three power play opportunities in the first period, but the Sioux had a counter for every punch. Neither team able to light the lamp before the first intermission, but Saginaw would put Charlie Schenkel to the test in the second five minutes into the period. Gobi great Hunter Hate from the right circle. That's his third goal of the postseason. Fans dancing at the Dow, and they'd have more to celebrate. Nine minutes later, Mr. Exceptional Michael Misa pinpoint pass to Kalem Mangoni. The Spirit have a two-goal lead heading into the second intermission, looking to close the deal in the third. They were textbook in transition. Alex Christopoulos puts through the breakaway as the Spirit dictate the tempo in the second and third periods. Andrew Oak was locked down with 39 saves. The Spirit take game one, final score, four to nothing. I thought it was an electric atmosphere, and uh, I thought we played great. I mean, my defense kind of helped me out there. I thought that was a big reason why uh, it was a shutout. There's no love loss between the two teams. I think ever since the Memorial Cup's been awarded to us and not them, there's been a extra rivalry already on top of one where there's some hatred there for sure between players. It's the game of hockey. There's animosity. There's you know bad blood between you know every team. There's rivalries, and um, yeah, I mean that's just that's just hockey. It's it's a grind. It's a battle, and you know it's a part of it. After the game, Spirit head coach Chris Lazary indicating that the Sioux failed bid for the Memorial Cup, which of course will be held here in Saginaw, an underlying subplot for this series. We'll see how that develops in Game 2. Both teams very chippy tonight in Game 1, a game that the Spirit, of course, win 4 to nothing. That's going to do it here from Saginaw. From the Dow, I'm Yosef Nasser, ABC 12 Sports.